Hi, I'm VOA National Correspondent Jim Malone covering the 2016 election results and we had a very important result in Wisconsin. On the Republican side, Ted Cruz defeated Donald Trump. Not only is that significant for Ted Cruz, it's significant for the people in the Republican Party who want to stop Donald Trump. They now see an opening to slow Trump down as he moves toward the Republican nomination. The main way to do that would be to deny Trump the delegates he needs ahead of the national convention in July so that by the time they get to that convention, it will be a competitive, contested convention and the outcome will be uncertain. So for those who support that idea, Wisconsin was a big victory and for Trump, it's a setback. But looking ahead now, Trump has a chance to recoup some of his losses. The next primary will occur in Trump's home state of New York in less than two weeks on April 19th. So Trump could get back into the race and back into a big lead if he can do well against Ted Cruz and John Kasich in New York on the 19th. As for the Democratic race, we also expect a very fierce struggle in New York on the 19th between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Both of them have roots in the state of New York. Clinton used to be the senator from there. Sanders was raised in Brooklyn. Uh, Sanders is coming off another big win in Wisconsin, which gives him momentum, but he still has to do even better to catch up in the delegate count against Hillary Clinton. So that race will go on, but Clinton remains in front. Lots of developments to talk about as we move ahead, and we'll try to keep you posted here from Voice of America.